Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. In the previous episode, we have taken care of the Sleetweed Farm. Currently, it is still being cooled down. According to your tips, I also gave this a little drop of naphtha right here in order to prevent the heat from leaking. The naphtha has been very hot, which is why this looks like that, but it seems to be working rather efficiently, and now we can slowly cool this farm down to the the appropriate temperatures. In today's episode, I would like to get to the Gilded Asteroid field in order to extract some of that fullerene. And that is going to be an absolute game changer. We do need access to that. So why don't we go ahead and build yet another rocket? Or do I want to repurpose one? I mean, technically we could take this one. Uh, let me see. No, I want the interior to look a little bit different because for the drilling rocket, we don't really need to have an atmosphere checkpoint and things like that. But I guess what we can already do is maybe set up a gantry right here. It should be possible. Just get rid of these two drywall pieces. And honestly, while I'm at it, as soon as I have enough food in that fridge, I'm going to send May over to do another exploration mission. But until then, gantry goes right here together with a switch. Next up, we're still going to have our spacefar module, just like that. We probably also need the fuel tanks and everything. Now, how far do I need to go? More than one fuel tank. Yeah, let's just go ahead and... Ooh, that was the wrong one. I need large liquid fuel tanks. We're going to have two of them and then we're gonna have two small oxidizer tanks which actually have the same output as one large oxidizer tank but it uses up one less space so that was kind of a stupid decision on the devs part i don't know it's always more lucrative to just use the two small oxidizer tanks instead of the large one so without any further ado, let's set these up. Two of these small oxidizer tanks and then the rest. No, actually one module is still already set in stone. And that of course is the drill cone module. Let's, uh, let's make it out of gold. But yeah, that gives us a total of eight tiles that we can use up however we please. Considering we are going to have our rocket stationary, solar panels and a battery module are going to be a large part of it. Now, honestly, I don't think the drill cone is actually using any of the power that you have inside the rocket. So all we really want is to have all of our appliances powered, which is not going to be much. I mean, we could certainly have another data collection lab of some sorts. But honestly, I think we only need to produce the oxygen and take care of the interior structure. That's all. So I'm going to make this a rather lightweight design interior wise. Actually, there's one thing I forgot, and that is we need a solid cargo module let me see allows duplicates to store some of the solid materials found during space missions so that could be the thing that we need there's a smaller and larger version of it yeah let's try to go with the large version see how much space we have left that would still leave us the space for let's say one battery module oh and looks like that might actually be it we can still snap a solar panel inside of here but then that's gonna be it that's gonna be the entire rocket do we even need that freaking solar panel it's just gonna give me 60 watts no actually that's good with the 60 watts we should be able to support the fridge yeah sure let's build that drilling rocket why the heck not Nisbet, of course as usual is taking care of everything i just really love to have her around on the third planetoid, unfortunately, I'm running out of reed fiber to take care of my Atmos suits. We only have one reed fiber left, so we will have to send this over. I'm going to do this very archaic right now and not with the elegant system that I intend to place here. But honestly, all I really want is a specific amount of reed fiber to be brought over. Let's have a look at the shipping here. Conveyor loader. And we're just going to bring this directly over here to the third planetoid. I already set it as a destination nation so then a little bit of power should be enough in order to make this happen okay here inside the storage bin we can limit this let's say we want to send over 50 reed fiber so we don't have to do this for a very long time that would be under manufactured material no industrial ingredients we have the reed fiber and so now somebody should be bringing along 50 of them and then if we set this guy here to sweep only we should be okay there we already have the 50 reed fiber let's wait for the conveyor loader to be built maybe i can speed this up oh i already did kind of has become a habit of mine to speed things up that i want to focus on <laughs> 
And we can now also see that slowly but surely the sleet weeds are getting to the temperature I want them to be at. There could be a issue with the dirt. If we bring in the hot dirt, we might want to route the cooling mechanism through the tiles. However, I think if we are just, you know, patient enough, we should be golden. And then maybe we can even set this to minus 10 degrees instead of minus 5 to give us a couple of degrees more leeway. There it is, conveyor loader, sweep only. I should have it at priority nine, allow manual use. And then we're going to do, uh, where is it? Industrial ingredients, the reed fiber. It's set to sweep only and the highest priority. So as soon as I take these out of here and then sweep them up, they should be brought over to this conveyor loader. And of course, this is very silly to do it this way. In the long term, I was thinking of a system with conveyor meters and a whole bunch of AND gates and signals to decide when to send a specific material over to a certain planetoid. It's going to be rather complicated, which is why I don't want to set it up right now, just for these few pieces of reed fiber. Now, before I do that, though, I should change that to 50 kilograms launch mass so that we are sending this right away as soon as we got it. Oh, there it actually already went. That always goes rather quickly. Good. And then we forget about this conveyor loader again, and we can just leave it be. And look at that. My system automatically started to charge things up and now it should be shut down again wait a second oh, 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 oh that's not good something is happening here we are storing 999 rap bolts here oh this is crazy I, I see this was like the worst scenario possible where we only need like a really tiny amount of rap bolts and then it's already full again because now this guy is going to be shooting one more time in order to fill this guy up yeah, I see. So every time we actually use just a little bit, then it's going to have a little bit of a potential for wastage. But now with the next one, we should be disabling the system again. Let's see that happen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I see. We just need to wait for one more wrap bolt. Okay, so this is actually a really good observation we just made here. If we just use a tiny amount of materials, we actually get into huge troubles, at least when it comes to wasting the bolts. The question is, is there a way to prevent this from happening? So the bolts are going in, let's say, this slot here. Could we potentially relay it? Not really conveniently. I mean, we could have had more space here on the top and then I could just send the bolts down and then back over again. So in case they are being wasted, they should now not. But it's kind of difficult to tell. I guess the question we have to ask ourselves is, are we happy with a little bit of wastage or do we want to make this absolutely perfect? To make it perfect, we would need a lot more space. Or maybe we just move this up. But then I don't have the space for here. Yeah, you know what? I think for now, I'm just gonna leave it be. You can see right now it shot down as according to the conditions. Totally fine. Now, let's have a look into the rocket. Which design do I want to go for? Probably something like this without the Atmosuit docks. So I'm really not going to need the Orbital Data Collection Lab or the telescope. So we're going to have a little bit more space to set up some other systems. So what I'm thinking is I'm going with a system that allows me to pump out the carbon dioxide. And then the question is, how are we going to get the oxygen? I did not think about the oxygen. Uh, you know what? Inside the driller, I might just go with oxalite. The problem about oxalite is usually you get some overpressure whenever there is a little bit of carbon dioxide. Say the oxalite is here on the floor and whenever you get carbon dioxide floating through, then the carbon dioxide will be deleted and some new oxygen will be produced. But that also means over time you're going to have popped eardrums because the oxygen is just accumulating and accumulating. You know what? Looking at the cargo bay, I decided to get rid of the large cargo bay and I think what I'm gonna do is set up a smaller one like the where was it the normal cargo bay instead of the large one what this is gonna do is allow us to place a couple more solar panels just to be sure and to be able to for instance support the fridge and potentially another contraption if necessary and uh, of course I don't have any glass we need to produce a little bit of glass no problem let's go with 20 crafts here so we can set up some more solar panels but basically instead of filling up the cargo bay what we're gonna do is have a look inside the rocket and well, that is not what i meant to do i meant to view interior and right here we have various possibilities for instance we have a conveyor receptacle fitting which allows solid materials to be moved into the rocket storage via conveyor rails and the other way around as well allows solid materials to be moved out of the rocket storage via conveyor rails so just looking
looking at the description, I'm assuming we need the loader fitter. And we could put this somewhere where it fits. Let's say right here, for instance. And then everything inside my cargo modules should be hooked up to here. So what that essentially means is we can use the cargo module on the rocket to scoop up the materials. But it's never going to be full because all the materials are going to be shipped inside the rocket. Yeah, I think that is exactly what we are supposed to do. I'm just waiting for a little bit more glass and then we can start set up the spacefarer module as well. I'm going to try to do this in a similar fashion as we did the other rocket. So all I need is a little system to get the carbon dioxide out of there with this pump. Let's maybe put this right here and then just connect these together. The wiggle jiggle with the carbon dioxide pump isn't actually necessary because I learned that during flight you expel the gases just simply through this output. But when it's landed, you actually need a vent on the outside to drag it out. But essentially that means we don't necessarily need to do the wiggle jiggle in order to be able to store more carbon dioxide. It can just move out here. Good. We then also set up a gas element sensor that is going to go go right here i'm gonna need some furniture let's see a mess table gonna place one right there together with a fridge potentially yeah i think my fridge is gonna go right here and now instead of having a oxygen diffuser i think what we're gonna try out is just having a storage bin so that's gonna stand on a airflow tile right there next up we can have our bathroom i think i will need to move that thing in the bob here but what i want to see let's see plumbing we got our wall toilet that's gonna go right here then we have the hand sanitizer now i heard you don't really need the hand sanitizer because of the radiation that is going on here so that's definitely one thing to think about in the meantime let's maybe set up the control station right here and i can only really set up the bathroom once i've built the carpeted tiles but just like with the other rocket, we're going to go up here. Then maybe even have some more carpeted tiles. How did I do it? I totally forgot. Probably something along these lines. Then together with an airflow tile to cover this part. Then on the top, I would say we're going to set up a comfy bed. And I actually got access to the dream boat bed, which is kind of funny. It's just a replacement for the comfy bed doing the same thing. But I figured why not go with that for one. Then right here, I would like to see a picture frame together with an aeropod right there and i think we have the space for another aeropod right here good then i needed a party line phone i'm gonna place this right here for now let me actually see is there anything else we require i don't really know now i have the dilemma of having a little bit too much space and i'm not sure what would be appropriate to set up here we could go with the data collection lab honestly just because we need some more of those anyway let's see this happen i can have another storage on top of here we can have a decorative gold tile right there. Then we're definitely going to need a power outlet fitting. And furthermore, we needed, what was it? The solid thing in the bob here, the conveyor loader fitting. That means my power will go through the rocket as such. Hmm, could we? Ah, actually, yeah, we could produce our own power. Honestly, guys, I hate building the rocket interior designs usually. So if you have come up with awesome designs, let me know. Then I just want to try them out. But yeah, I guess for now, if we have nothing to do, we can just go ahead and help out with the power needs. Then as for the conveyor here, I think all I'm going to do is just bring this out and then we're going to do a little uh, shoot here. So that's literally all it's going to be. We're just going to grab the material materials from space now we need to be careful a little bit with that because if you grab hot or cold materials of course they are also coming in hot but with the gilded asteroid field uh, where is it right here we only really have cooled down materials even the regolith isn't gonna be that tremendously hot but yeah i would say without any further ado we're gonna get started with building all of this shebang and then hopefully soon enough we can take off for the mission Alrighty, a couple of cycles later and we have finished building the rocket. Right now I'm starting to fuel it up right here inside of the cargo bay. I guess we can just collect everything, honestly. Yeah, I don't think it works the way that the duplicates bring the stuff over here, but we rather just want to make sure we pick up everything as we drill it. The interior is now also done. Honestly, I don't really know what to store in here, but we got our bed, we got our plants, we got the fridge. Basically everything is in place. Maybe this filter gate should be set to 200 seconds and other than that i think we're ready for the launch off 
Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. I want some of my food to land in here, of course. So if I just speed this up a little bit, then some of my people are going to start filling this fridge up. Though, wait a second. Yeah, I limited to 20 kilograms. That should be fine. We are only going to receive spiced food, which means it's going to stay fresh forever. Wonderful. There it is. Now we have 36,000 kilocalories. That's way more than enough. Let's go ahead and open up the thingamabob. Let me see. There are some asteroids, but it's still going to take a little little while for us to reach so we should be good opening this up and getting the launch sequence started i want to change the crew to be may and we want to change the destination to be all the way down here at the gilded asteroid field and i'm just gonna go into the first one one two three Ooh, actually we could go ahead and discover some more stuff here if we wanted to but i think i'm gonna leave that to the explorer rocket i don't think there's gonna be anything noteworthy down here there are already two gilded asteroid field types let's just aim for the first one then we just need a pilot and that is everything yeah let's hope for the best and get this baby launched may are you gonna come and tag along yes indeed okay let's maybe already have a look inside and force her to unequip the suit and then i want to just make sure that maybe this guy here is enabled again yeah this could actually be a problem it might be worth setting up a telescope here or an orbital data collection lab just something for may to do on the way good right now it's going to take about three and a half cycles to reach that field and then hopefully we're going to start mining immediately that would be absolutely amazing mm, we're still struggling a tiny bit here with the body temperature i wonder where the heat is actually being leaked it could really have something to do with the dirt that we're bringing right here the heat shouldn't leak too much anymore this is still cold from previous attempts but i think what we could test out is setting this even lower so instead of minus 10 degrees we're gonna go down to minus 15 degrees and then over time i really think we should be able to make this right now we are at minus 12 degrees and once we land here we are already at minus 11 so where are we losing the heat probably through the bridge here yeah gas bridge i would totally assume this is 11 degrees and this doesn't make sense so maybe to make this better we can make insulated tasks out of these guys and yeah let's keep this here at gold tasks and if we do that we might not be leaking as much heat but the bridges they are crazy so that could definitely help our cost to make this rather quick yeah, I'm assuming it's just the bridge that is actually leaking the heat here. Okay, that will actually be quite an easy fix. In the meantime, let's check the rocket. We are still doing fine inside. Did I forget? No, we got the suit on the floor and it's a little bit too cold for this body butt seat. So I don't think it's actually giving off any spores, but you know, May should be rather happy here. There it is, the low room all fixed. This kind of looks weird now. I might change the shape of this a little bit to accommodate for everything, but I bet you this immediately solved our problems we are now at minus 12.6 degrees or so here and still minus 12.4 so we don't lose that chill anymore very good wonderful very soon we'll be swimming in berry sludge already looking forward to it the berry sludge i think in the future i want to store somewhere else so every berry sludge that we're getting we're not going to be storing in here because we don't really need to wait a second did i fill up the drill with diamonds i have no idea whether or not the rocket is ready for mining all i know is that you need to fill up the drill with diamonds you know and i'm not sure oh i did it I have a thousand kilograms. Oh, I'm so glad I did it. I totally remembered from my previous playthrough. I forgot that and then I had to fly back once again in order to fill up the drill. But yeah, maybe while we're waiting, we can finish the second geothermal power plant here. All we need to do is maybe connect the rooms here at the bottom. This could actually be fairly easy we just need to remove this tile and this tile once we have built this and this will generally be fairly easy to accomplish oh meteor showers no i missed it again ah uh, why do i have to do this to myself just set up a freaking sensor oh no misbet what, what are you doing jeez okay it's my fault it's totally my fault uh, just just get some air please where is she going okay yeah <laughs> oh, i'm so sorry i wish the game sometimes would tell me a little bit sooner when something like that happens but alas oh nice just one more cycle to go until we have reached the gilded asteroid field i've been dreaming of this moment for at least 20 episodes when i first wanted access to super coolant finally we are there oh you know what i should have done is added the drywall here in the back 
Hmm, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. I think I'm gonna connect this all together here. So we have a layer of obsidian tiles below. And then I might be able to reshape this. And if we're lucky, we can just go ahead and mop things up. Maybe it's gonna be converted. No, actually not. Come on, Nisbet. Do me the favor. And now we just pick this up. Easy peasy. The liquid magma is actually being brought all the way over here. Let me see this happen. Yeah, we're just dumping it here, which of course is why it's uh, really toasty here. <laughs> anyway, just shy over a minute, we'll be reaching the first gilded asteroid field, and then we can see whether or not the drilling mechanism is working the way I want it to. Unreachable food. Ari, what are you talking about? You're out of food. Okay, uh, well, I can take that. All I gotta do is send some over. Let's see what we currently have queued up right now. There is some cooked seafood in there. Mm, you know, I think I'm gonna send over the 8 kilograms of omelets. Ari is gonna be really happy. So omelets should be brought over here. Nisbet is already taking care of that. Come on, come on. Joshua. Okay, delivered the full 8 kilograms of food. Let's get rid of that again. The food is just going directly over to Ari's planetoid and therefore he should be happy again again when he can eat the next time and will you look at that this definitely looks like we are mining something if we have a look inside of the rockets then we can also see that the materials are dropping down here and because it's not a dangerous asteroid field we also don't collect the hot materials this means we now have access to fullerene 55 kilograms of it already and i'm just gonna remain here for as long as i can the asteroid field here is limited to 35 tons i'm not sure we can do that at some point we're going to be losing all of the diamonds that we have inside of here but my intention is to just remain here until we have used up one entire charge of the drill great stuff really looking forward to the super coolant we'll be getting as a result from this but with that out of the way we're gonna wrap it up for today's episode thank you so much for watching have a great time and see you in the next one bye bye